are pretty good too, but seriously though, that yoga kill, if there was a dang Hall of Fame of slasher movie kills, that yoga kill would be in that list, you'll see when you guys see the movie, next week, next weekend, so, but, uh, yeah, and, um, uh, however though, moving on to the negatives of this movie, while it is cool that you get a movie, fo you know, focused on um, uh, the um, um, killer for most of it, which is a very, again, very, very unique, you know, point of view from the killer. And um, uh, the negatives are just, a lot of this movie is just the killer walking, walking up to the woods, walking into the lake, walking up to somebody's front door. Like, and like, it's like, Okay, can we please, you know, do something? And then, in the, and you know, the characters that we do get that aren't the killer, um, their dialogue is pretty, you know, cringeworthy. And um, uh, and um, uh, also, and. Also, um, uh, and also the, and also the third act of the movie, it's like, um, uh, it's like, it pretty much, you know, switches perspectives, like, on the, like, the protagonist, you know, the final girl, pretty much, of the movie. I thought that was a little, you know, a little, you know, I mean, I mean, good, because we were finally, you know, focusing on, you know, what a, what a traditional slasher movie would focus on, but, um, uh, at the same time, there's this really long as hell, like, dialogue scene that goes on for way too damn long at the end of the movie, and, uh, yeah, did not really care for the third act of the movie at all. And, um, uh, so yeah, so overall, you guys, um, uh, this movie is very good. You know, this movie is still one that I would highly recommend. It's definitely better than that piece of shit, Strangers Chapter 1, because, you know, Violent Nature is at least doing something new and something different. And not having, you know, bullcrap characters being bullshit characters you know, doing stupid shit, but, like, um, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about the movie, of course, once you see it next weekend, on the 31st of May, and, uh, yeah, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, as always, for more videos, and don't forget to hit the bell icon, so you get notified for whenever I upload brand new videos, and as always, guys, don't forget to keep on slashing, I'm going to give In a Violent Nature a, a solid, um, I'm going to give In a Violent Nature a three, uh, uh, 
4 out of 10. Now, 4 out of 10. Because, like I said, it is very unique having the kill from, you know, having the movie from, you know, the killer's point of view and that yoga kill. Once you guys see it, you will go, you were going to say, oh, shit, that kill was badass, just like I did. And, um, uh, yeah. Don't forget to keep on slashing, guys. Stay tuned for more videos in the future. This has been my movie review for In a Violent Nature. Let me know what you guys think about the movie once you guys get around to see it next weekend. Peace.